The old yard here was built in 65. Alec Taylor was the first man here. Everything would have been centralised. There was no, you know, cars coming in and out, so they had an on-site farrier. And in here, I'll just show you quickly, there's, a, there's an old, this was an old farrier's forge in here. So from, yeah, 1865, this would have all been here since then. We've got our American horses here, so we're using webbings. This is the American way of doing it. And if you have a little peek in, the, in here, you will see internally all of these stables have doors too. So we are up in the clock tower. The, this is the mechanism for the clock, which there's one chap here who still who actually works for us on the moment at the stud, and he's been here for, for 30 years, and he is the only person who knows how to do it. And it works by these weights here, which obviously he winds up, and then they, over the course of the week, gradually lower, and that's what that's what tells the time of the clock. For these American horses, now it's, it's obviously completely different. You have American barns where we normally train them. We have a shed row and we walk them around. I suppose the whole walking around the outside here is as close as they'll get, and they are like looking out, and as you can see, we've changed it, so we've set it up very similar to, to the American way of going with the, with the webbings and the, the hay nets on the outside. And as you can see, they're all, they're all happy and having their breakfast. And I will show you the pub if you'd like. With everyone on site, uh, my grandfather put this in. They had to have a bit of fun and driving into Marlborough, getting caught having a few drinks behind the wheel was probably not wise. So what they made was their own pub on site. This was uh, the old pub and it used to be open after every big winner or on Thursday and Saturday nights. So the lads used to all come in here on a Thursday night after a big winner and this is where they'd have big parties. This building here used to be called the chapel. Back in the day everyone would have lived on site and most of these lads, you know, the trainers wanted these small, young, you know, eight, six, seven, five stone lads and a lot of them were fresh out of school, 14, 15, 16 and probably Catholic or strict from the Church of England. So church was a big thing. So the chapel there, it used to be laid out, with, used to have pews. And uh, on a Sunday morning, that's where they used to go because this was, this was home for them all. Um. Let's strike the tiger. So what, he's been walking the paddock, the f***er. The gallop over there is called, it's called the Derby Gallop. The reason it's called the Derby Gallop is because its undulations are said to be as close to Epsom as you really will get on many of these gallops. These are called Clatford Gallops. These have been the sort of famous gallops for years and they, there's a sort of straight six foot five furlongs. And then there's a, similar to that, there's a sort of mock of effectively Tattenham Corner around the bottom, which is on a, on a slight camber. 